I am sitting in Coach's motor at the moment as I'm talking to you. So I, I'm using my uh, my handheld, my realistic handheld. Right, well, I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you loud and clear. Is that any better? I'm talking right at the microphone. Can you, is my modulation any clearer? That's a bit early, Roger. Robert. Hello there, yep, I'm hearing you. Ah, uh, you're hearing me at 7.0, uh, you've got a lot of a crackle, but I could make it you clearly. Right, well you're, uh, you're booming in up here, uh, I, this thing doesn't have a signal meter on it, but you are, your audio's amazing, that's the loudest I've ever heard you. Well, me, I'm in cotton. Right, uh -huh. so the, the, this is me, I'm using my vintage, uh, mint condition, realistic, uh, handheld from the 1980s. Aye, well, uh, I'm on the dark side right now, well, I'm on the dark side. Yeah. Who else is there, who else is on? Uh, Bob should be in there. Hey, Robert. Can you hear me, Bob? Yeah, I'm getting you. You're right at the bottom of the box. I can just hear you no more. Uh, well, I'm on my hand. I'm sitting with my hand. Right, you're a wee bit, uh, you're a wee bit louder now. Ah, uh, yeah. Using the clock. Ah, uh, rubber dot. It's a very, it looks a very cloudy and misty day up here. It's just one of those cloudy, little, little misty days. Horrible. So, are you, you up at the Angus television transmitter, is that what you are? Is it like in a, in a car park or are you just sitting at the side of the road? It's a wee bit of a car park, you can maybe park three vehicles in it. Uh, but once you go beyond this car park, it's just mud. A rudge. <laughs> well, I suppose you've picked the best site for uh, transmitting on for Dundee, it's at the site the TV transmitter, so you're obviously going to get out right across the whole city. The only problem is you would really need to climb up the top of the transmitter and attach a silver rod to the top. <laughs> I don't think Ofcom would be too happy. I don't think Ofcom would be too happy if you attached a silver rod to the top of the Angus transmitter. I had a friend uh, in Paisley who worked for the transmitter company and went that way, it was NTL, no, and he'd have to, in fact I know a guy in the Astronomy Society, fellow Rook, and he works for them, and he has to climb up the top, I couldn't do that because I can't take heights. <laughs>
and they'll go as high as, but uh, not climbing up the middle of a pool like that. Uh, no. no, it's too too high for me. <laughs> so I mean, like this little handheld, it's got a but it's got a full size aerial on it, you know. But I can attach it to. Uh, I've not got the thing with me. I've got uh, an adapter to attach it to uh, a big aerial. What I need to do is get a microphone for it, and then I can convert it into a base station. <laughs> I mean, I'll need to try and see if I can get the, back in the 80s I had the, 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 the mic, but the mic uses a kind of like a DIN plug. So I'll need to try and go on the internet and see if I can get a replacement, a mic, and then my modulation would be a lot better because it's just like a wee mic in the front panel. Uh, I think uh, is that a Midland? I think I've seen that one. It, 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 it looks like a, a radio that you'd have in the car, but then it's not like a walkie-talkie. But then what you would do is you, you had that battery box that you could turn it into a portable radio. I think I'd like to say quite a famous CB back in the day, you know. I'm receiving you from the top of the law. Hey Bruce, you there? Yes. Ambulance out. I'm hearing you as well. Go stop it! Uh, I've got you now, uh, uh, Mike. You need to get a tablet. How do you get, you get tablets? It's okay. a really I bad issue. It's only when she lets us out like that. Uh, so, is that Bruce that's talking? She's 18 years old, so she's a bit But that wee hill, we the court. Right. Just there. Aye. Right. For, for, uh, for the rod light, right? Okay. So that fucking. A bit of brazen just hammering in the ground. Right. Right. Hammering the pole into the ground is a bit of brazen, eh? Hey, let's check on that shit, it's working good, right? M Michael, you hear me? Roger, I'm here, coming in about the 910 there and modulation of water wall. Yeah. <laughs> I am, actually. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, Robert, see you're up the top of the lawn and you're booming in. Right, uh, John, give the check. Bruce, can you hear me over? Are you receiving me, Bruce? Oh. This is Robert here, are you receiving me? Uh, Robert, I'm getting you already clear, bud. Right, so what, I'm using my handheld at the top of the law, using my tandy handheld CB walkie talkie, it's like a big brick. Right, well you're right, this thing doesn't have a signal meter but you're booming in here loud and clear. The coach is building a big area on the law, so he, when he keys the microphone you all begin off. <laughs> How are you getting me, Bob? What, what's my signal to you, Bob? You're working crystal clear. I you to say that then. And the one radio fucking fan. There, Bruce. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Anybody there? Bruce, Big, big aerials getting erected up the top of this hill. I wouldn't fancy climbing up that mast in a ladder. You probably has a ladder, and you'd probably have to obviously they'd be wearing a rope or something in case you fall off it, you know. Roger. When you're talking, I'm getting like a wee pop every time you say something. Yeah, you're saying a word. Mm. Right, I don't know, is it still popping? How's that now? Maybe I'm not pressing the button hard enough. That's what it is, I'm no pressing the... I'm no, I'm, this is the first time I've really kind of used this, you know, so uh, it's why I, I need to remember to keep my thumb jamming the button and I really need to get a 
get a, 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 a mic for it, you know, it'll be a lot easier once I can get a proper mic. Roger, D. No problem. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get my mic and you'll sound crystal clear to the world. The receive, the receive on this radio is brilliant, the call, audio quality is excellent. I don't know, well, always said the realistics were the best made. So I've also got a Eurosonic CB, I got an eBay with a rubber duck, so I've got, I spent about 40 quid buying rechargeables for it, you know, so I think this one I'm not using the rechargeables, I'm just using the ordinary batteries, you know, and the, the, the tandy one. Something. Did they not bring a, a CB uh, handheld that was just two channels? I think it was stupid, like nine, uh, 14 and something else, or 19 and something else. Uh, the, the, uh, back in the day, in the 1980s, you know, they, there were a lot of radios with two channels. Like, it would be Channel 14, I think, uh, and Channel 9, what was that? There was the emergency channel. For, like, I, don't, I remember that you could get Benetton and Armstrong CB radios that were cheaper. And they, it's like crystals they put in them, so they had two channels, and then the more expensive ones, obviously, it was your 40 UK. I've just been told it was 14 and 30. Roger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I 14 and 30, right, yep. You're l- loud and clear, Bruce. I hear you quite clearly. Bruce, I hear you loud and clear. I hear you loud and proud. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Yep, I'm up, we're up the low hill, aye, Coach is bit busy, he's putting up a giant aerial, a big silver rod, you know, and I'm sitting in the motor with my handheld walkie-talkie talking to you. You're coming through loud and clear here, but I'm just talking to you on a handheld CB at the moment. I'm sitting with the aerial out the car window. You're coming through me loud and clear now, and I'm just on uh, Dungeys Road, passing the Mitchell. Wow. Oh, Dungeys. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, the Benetton uh, Limited Bus Service Station has been called back. I'm 
That's amazing. Preston, Preston Pans is miles away from Edinburgh, you know, way out in the east past it. That's amazing. It's beyond Edinburgh, yeah, it's away past Preston Pans is where the battle was. And it's away past Edinburgh, or going east of Edinburgh, quite a wee bit away from it. So it's uh, on the east coast of Scott, East Lothian, but it's a wee bit away from Edinburgh, you know, it's maybe 10, 15, 25 or 30 miles away from Edinburgh. Uh, Roger, Dodge, well, You can hear the aerial getting hammered in now. I found an old post. Right. Aye, we're a bit rough coming in there. He's hammering up the aerial now into the ground. Preston Pans, that was the battle that we won. We lost Culloden, but we did win the uh, Preston Pans. Roger, Dodge. Aye, uh, your modulation's a bit rough, right? but uh, I'm making you out. Uh. Right. 